Well, the list is growing, I want to give a huge shout out to new patrons, Robert Cox, James Rizzo, Ralph Glidden, and Roy Leonard, not to mention my fine tool partners. Thank you guys very much. Wasted spaces, that's the theme on today's video. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Drew Short. Welcome to the Rockin' H Wood Shop. So I had a client approach me about a huge wasted space that's in their bathroom and it was their hot tub. Now granted, not everybody are tub people and these clients are no exception. They are shower people and they have a big gaping hole in their bathroom that they want covered. So we came up with a design that allows them to still be able to keep the tub there without revamping anything in the bathroom, but utilize the space to where they can do whatever they want. Whether it's potted plants, which I think that's what they wanted to do. You can lay out a new outfit. You can sit down, put on your shoes. Plus, there is a door that you can lift up to have access to anything that you want to stow away in a secret compartment and have access to the faucet so you can run water through the tub occasionally to keep the pee trap full of water. Uh, or you can just plug up the drain and be done with it. So if this is your first time here, I'd like to welcome you. Be sure and click the subscribe button if you like videos like this and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss an episode, click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content and you won't miss a beat. So one more thing I'd like to say, remember, love not hate, peace not violence. Let's get busy. Now the three quarter inch plywood is going to contain a lot of parts for this particular build, including the platform, the lid, the spacers, the dividers, probably about 85% of the project is on this one sheet of plywood. So I have to lay it out very carefully if you are just going to buy one sheet. Now, just like before on my prior projects, anytime that I start a cut on a piece of plywood, I oversize the first cut so I can get the rough edges cut off the piece and then set to final dimension as I go through the sheet of plywood. And if you have a similar tub like this and you want to make something like this for that and you don't necessarily use the tub, plans will be on my website that you can download. You'll just need to alter it for your particular tub. So following my plan to a T, I've got all of the hardwood pieces cut to size. Uh, now all that's left is the joinery for both plywood and hardwood. Now I've got the main platform laid out on my assembly table. There is going to be a faucet in this corner which is towards the front of the tub. So there's going to have to be a cutout right here that will make access for the water to go into the tub with this still in place. So you would actually have to raise the lid to gain access to the faucet turn it on, blah, blah, blah. It'll kind of, there'll be a, like a faucet head that'll kind of go in like this. So I've got to have a huge cutout. It's about 14 and a half inches. And then you would put the lid down after you're done. So I'm going to use a table saw to cut these as straight as possible. I'll have to leave a little bit uh, left that I'll have to finish out with the jigsaw. But this is the cleanest way to get these straight cuts without having to use a circular saw and the chance of a bunch of veneer tear out. inch thick sheet of plywood that was left over from a prior project. It's about almost five inches wide, but I only need four and three quarters of it. So it just goes to show you don't throw stuff away. You might need it on future projects. Uh, it's also the same material, maple, and uh, I'm just going to cut these strips out because the surrounding areas of the lid 
uh, the raised section is actually going to have a faux frame and panel set up. So these will be the panels. All right, now before I do some final sanding, before putting all this stuff together, I've kind of done a dry fit to see what it kind of looks like and if everything lines up and all the joinery kind of kind of uh, joins up without a, without a problem. So I've squared up everything um, with some square blocks, put it inside the corner there. Um, this is also square right here, lines up perfectly with each other. Um, this looks kind of strange right now because mainly the plywood that you see right here is actually going to be lifted and be flush with the top so the main platform can fit inside the dado that we made here. I've also got another adjoining one that's a stop dado that stops uh, just past the face frame on this panel uh, that will go all the way up underneath. And that way it'll complete the bottom of this while leaving an opening for the faucet head.
So as you can see, the project came out perfect. It fits over their tub nice and snug. The rubber gaskets make sure nothing scratches and the mortised hinges actually are set back on the edge of the lid so that way when the lid is opened the lid itself actually creates a stop so you don't have to use a chain and a couple of eye hooks to make sure that it can hold itself open also keep in mind the spacer that you see on one end you can eliminate that completely if you don't have any clearance issues with a window seal above your uh, platform that's the only reason I had to put that in there. So just adjust the length of the lid and take it all the way to the end and you'll be good to go. So don't forget, if you guys want to see more, check out the videos that you see right over here. Click that circle with my face right in the center and you'll be notified when I upload new content. So I will see you guys on the next video. Catch you next week. Boom!